Today we're going to be reviewing Lush Halloween 2021. Yay! <laughs> Whenever you buy anything from Lush and it gets delivered, it comes with all these packaging peanuts, which is a fantastic way to make sure that the product gets to you without being damaged. But also, all you need to do is grab all of these, put them in the sink, and just turn on the tap and with water, they dissolve. Awesome. So for the first product we're going to review, let's have a look. <gasps> the scream. To be honest, I didn't really pay much attention to the sense of the smells of this one. This one to me just screamed <laughs> Halloween. Like, look at that. It's just awesome. And it's a bubble bar, so I'm guessing that when you run it under some water, you'd be able to blow through the little hole and maybe make some bubbles. But the name of this one is actually called the Screamo Bubble Blower. And to use this one, you crumble under running water to create lots of bubbles. Again, how awesome is that? And the smell, the smell, I think the main scent that comes through is almond and then like a little bit of citrus in a way. But like I said, the main smell is almond. Awesome. Fantastic. Second. Woo! Let's see what this one is. <gasps> so you've got your alien. Anything to do with aliens, who could say no? And you can see there's like, I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but it's got like a little sparkle over it, which means once you've finished your bath, you're going to have to scrub and get all of the glitter out. <laughs> so this one is actually called the Alien Bubble Bath. Oh, I actually assumed it would be a bath bomb, but bubble bath. This one also is the same. Crumble under running water to create lots of bubbles. This one. It's got the same kind of citrus smell as the Screamo, but that's it. There's no almond smell like the Screamo. This is just pure citrus. And I would say more like a lemon lime kind of citrus no orange or anything like that i would probably say more lime which would probably be what they chose because of the green alien so that's number two Ooh. and i opted for the smallest size of these just because i've never actually had any of the shower gels of these kind before so i didn't want to buy a big one on waste i wanted to buy the small one then if we really like it we could order more and actually go and get a bigger one. So this one is a shower gel. This one is called Lord of Misrule. You can see that. So, and this one says lather with warm water, cleanse skin, then rinse clean. And then the smell to this one. As you can see, they all come completely sealed. Peppercorn infused fruit extract. And it has got like a nice little fruitiness taste to it. So it's actually a really nice one. I wish actually I would have bought the bigger one. We'll see how it is when we actually shower but we may be going back for another one of this. And it also has this little feature on the back that actually tells you, I don't know if you can actually see that, it actually tells you who the product was made by, on what date, and it also tells you a use by date. So my product tells me that the product was made by Susan. Why, thank you, Susan. It also tells me that it was made on the 17th of August and I need to use it by the 17th of October next year. 
So it actually has quite a long shelf life. And today is September the, what are we on? September the 14th. So, and this was made in August 17th. So we're probably, what, nearly four weeks being made. So it's quite fresh. So our next product is another one on the top. And this is called Good Karma. So Good Karma, it says everybody needs some shower gel. Lather with warm water, cleanse skin, then rinse clean. So it's a nice orange color. And you can see this one was made by Gladys. This was made on the 20th of 28th of July, so a little older than the other one, used by the 27th of September 2022. And again, we're all sealed. So this is the look of that one. So, ooh, this one's this one's got a good tangerine smell to it. It's really nice. So it actually says on these as well. I didn't really notice. Did this one have it? Oh yeah. So as like a little helpful tip, how to use this. <laughs> so this is how you use shower gel if you didn't know. So this is actually really good. Get naked, hop in the shower and lather up. Top tip, pair with Karma perfume to fill your aroma with fragrance. Good to know. Karma has been a beloved scent at Lush for over 20 years, inspired by the hippie vibes of the 60s. And this, oh, it's just got such a good orange tangerine smell. It's... Oh, so I'm two for two. Should have got the bigger size. Oh, a nice little ghost. And this one you can see is blue, purple, pink. So the name of this one is Ghosty Bath Bomb. Drop into warm water and let it dissolve, then soak in the bath. How cool is that? Oh, this in is true lemon. If you're a big lemon fan, this one is for you. And how cool is this going to look when you drop it in the bath? I'm gathering at first, you'll just see the white, then all of a sudden these colours are just gonna come cascading out. Awesome. We have a round bath bomb. This one to me isn't, out of all of them, really Halloween. It was in the Halloween section on the website to me, I guess it's a clown, clown's Halloween. It's not really a scary clowner's look, if that's what it was supposed to look like. I don't know. It's just, like I said, I got it because it was in the Halloween section, but is it Halloween? Is it? I don't think so. But we have it. It's here. The smell hasn't really got like a huge, strong smell to it. So it's probably a little bit vanilla, a little bit citrusy. They all seem to be quite citrusy for the Halloween one, right? So this one is called Lord of Misrule Bath Bomb. Same again. Drop in warm water and let it dissolve, then soak in the bath. Like I said, I got it because it was in the Halloween section. Is it Halloween? You tell me. I said no. <laughs> you might say, yeah, because you might be scared of ornate clowns. I, for one, am not. I, for one, do not think it's Halloween. 
but it's a bath bomb from Lush. We will use and we will love. So let's see what else is in here. Pumpkin! <laughs> now this is Halloween, right? Like, like, come on, <laughs> like, but we'll go. So the pumpkin, this one is called the pumpkin, pumpkin bath bomb. So the pumpkin, pumpkin bath bomb. Drop into warm water, let it dissolve, then soak in the bath. And look how cute he is. It's not scary Halloween, but it's Halloween. Like it's not Halloween if you don't have a pumpkin, right? Guessing this is going to be quite the same as the ghost where we're gonna drop it into the water. We'll probably see a lot of orange and then the yellow will start to come pouring out of it at some point, which will give it a nice swirl and color to the bath. This one, I'll have to say this one doesn't really have any smell to me. Like, I'm trying. Like, there's just nothing. So, like, so I would say if you are really sensitive to smells and don't like strong smells but want something for the bath, something Halloween-y, this one, out of all that we've seen so far, this one is going to be your best bet. This one, like I said, hasn't really got much of a scent to it. So if you are sensitive to that, then this is the one for you. You've got your Halloween and you've also got a low scent smelling bath bomb. They cover you all. So I'm sure we've still got more in here. So we have, oh, this one's actually wrapped. I wonder why. None of the others came wrapped, but as you can see, this one, I wonder if it's because you can see all the glitter and it's black. So it's maybe had to wrap it for its own protection. We shall see. So, and just so you know, my dog's come to have a little smell. She must be a bit of a Halloween theme. This one, as you can see, is quite dark and glittery. This one is called the Bat Art Bath Bomb. The same for this one as all the other bath bombs is drop it into warm water, let it dissolve, then soak in the bath. And as you can see, your bath is going to need to be scrubbed after this one. But how lovely is this one the bat with the glitter like come on yes yes so this smell to this one there is a smell to it you can smell there is a bit of citrus to it also smells like there's some kind of herbs in it kind of thing it actually i did read and i don't think it does actually it might smell a bit like a real like a real licorice maybe i'm just imagining that but <laughs> it does have that like you know a bit of citrus a bit of herbs a bit of sage you know, and it makes it all smell a bit like a licorice kind of smell. I, for one, love licorice. So, love black, love glitter, love bats. What could be more Halloween than a black bat glitter? Yes. And I think the reason that they've put it in the bag because just by holding it, you can see 
that my fingers are black and glittery. So I am going to place it back in the bag. So that's the end of our Halloween 2021 haul from Lush. We did review eight items. There are all the items in which we reviewed. If you have tried any of these, please let me know what you thought of these. I shall also try and do a follow up to let you know how all of these went once we've used them. And just again, just so you know, if you do order from Lush, the boxes that they come in all have like a nice little artwork drawing. If you can see that. And then you can see how many of the peanuts you actually put into each box. This makes sure that all that you order come in perfect condition so you can use them to its full potential. My favourite, I would have to say, through all of it, just because I have a true love for Halloween. I love Halloween all year long. So this, for me, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the colours. I think it's more that face. Like, hello. I see. So I just, I think this is fantastic. Like, Whoever came up with this idea at Lush, you nailed it. Like, this is awesome. Um, also, when you do order from Lush, they also give you this, which is great. It just breaks it down for you of what they actually do. So it tells you that everything was freshly made by hand. It's all naked and proud which means it's packaging free is the way to be which is why they've made sure that all of our naked products aren't shipped in any additional wrapping it means less waste less impact on the environment and more lush for you to enjoy now like i did say that one did come in the plastic wrapper i would say just because of like my hand is still black, even after rubbing. So I'm guessing they had to use that. Could they have used a paper one? I'm thinking they could have done, like they've done for the screen. I think that would have been a better option than the plastic. But as for everything else, if that's the only one thing that actually then the winning above a lot of other companies right it also states on this about the packaging peanuts what are these pillowy little nuggets surrounding your lovely new lush products we never send you a load of styrofoam instead these packaging peanuts are made from a potato starch based material that biogrades quickly in water and soil so that's good to know because then even if you wanted you could put them in soil outside what your garden and it's just gonna it's just gonna go it's just gonna dissolve and the handmade the freshly handmade also states that all of our products are lovingly handmade using real ingredients keeping things fresh means that your skin and hair benefit from the very best that our fruits, vegetables, essential oils have to offer, which is awesome. And they also do give you the customer care link phone number as well, in case anything that you ordered wasn't up to what you expected, or if you're missing an item or anything like that. Like I said, that's all the information that they give on it. Maybe they could find a way where they don't need the paper. Let me know down below what your favourite item was and if you have any, what you thought of them. But as for now, Halloween is coming. 
So for now, bye and have awesome Halloween.